Joining us on News Talk 710 KURV is Rick Godinez. He's in the runoff for Hidalgo County Democratic Chairman. Thanks for being with us, Rick. First question, tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you want voters to know? Well, uh, first, my name is Rick Godinez. That's important when you go to the <laughs> polls to, to vote for the right person. Uh, but secondly, I'm from McAllen. I went to school here, was uh, raised here, went off to uh, further my education, received a uh, Bachelor of uh, Business Administration and Finance and uh, International Business from the University of Texas in Austin. And then I went to law school at the University of Houston. Practiced for about uh, six years between Houston and San Antonio for various firms. And then I decided to move back here to McAllen. It was booming at the time. That was uh, early 90s, or I'm sorry, mid 90s. And um, I was um, when I wanted to raise a family and I, this is a great place to do it. So that's what brought me on. What makes you the best candidate? Well, experience for one, uh, I've been doing this job for two years and you have to remember when when I took over this job in 2014 and I was elected the first time, the, the party was a little bit of in crisis. We would had our sheriff who was a Democrat uh, that had tainted a little bit of our party. Uh, you know, again, when you have a candidate that does things that gets you indicted, obviously it's going to probably taint those that associate with them. And so we, and, and it was past the election, so the way the law works is the Democratic Party was to choose the nomination. And it was important to me that we had a, a very deliberative process, and what, so what we did, and a transparent process. We had the first of its kind uh, forum where uh, the precinct chairs, there was 50 of them at the time, were able to do that. And, and we had a great uh, process. It was deliberative, and uh, ultimately we picked a, a great sheriff. Eddie Guerra has been doing a great job here. Now, you talked a little earlier about what you did. So what is it that you do again, and how does that help you being as being a chairman for this county? Well, that's a great question because there's a lot of people who have uh, a misunderstanding of what the party does. We are a private political party, just like a Republican Party, just like Libertarians, just like Green Party. What that means is, is that we are responsible for the structure uh, in order to help vet the best candidates that we can have and then uh, that are you know consistent with our democratic principles and then we work as hard as we can to get them elected after the primary um, in a general election and so that's probably the the largest responsibility of the chair uh, the chair obviously it's a responsibility of the county executive committee that's what the the party is called um, and so really the chair leads that group and we also put on a convention every two years uh, right after the primary and we actually put on the primary according to state law uh, primaries are run by the private parties themselves. The state helps pay for some of that, uh, or in fact, a majority of it, but the parties themselves are responsible for actually deciding how that election is going to be conducted. And so that's really, it's more of a structural type thing as well as getting out the vote. Um, these are volunteer positions, all of them, um, all 80 some odd chairs that we have in my position. It's not paid. It's just people that are passionate about their communities, passionate about democratic principles, and passionate about making sure that we elect people with those principles. Now, would you like to address the polling location controversy of late? Is it fair to even call it a controversy? Is it an attempt to undermine your authority, or is it just standard practice? I don't think it's a, a controversy at all. I, I think. Um, my opponent or those that support him tried to make it a, a controversy. It's been well reported that what's happening in this election in terms of the 55 polls down from 75 has happened in every single election that I'm aware of. I, I didn't realize this, but it, we didn't have a dip in 2012. And part of that was our primary, which is usually in March, was not until May because of all the various lawsuits. And in fact, it's interesting, usually you'll have 19, 20 races, and then it comes down to three or four. In this case, it's three countywide for, for this year. In that year, we actually had more races in the runoff than yeah. we did in the primary. And I, I wondered why, and then I found out it's because there were still lawsuits going on and people couldn't go and actually campaign. So that was a really a anomaly year. But, um, you know, I mean, here the bottom line is this. In order to have a, a certain number of polls, and, and I would like to have as many polls as we can, Democrats feel strongly that there should be very, very little impediments for people to go vote. That's one of the basic constitutional rights we have. And even going from 75 to 55 will make it a little bit more difficult. Now, there will be a drop off, no question. But um, we'd like to have the 75. But you, again, that's the passion versus the logic. You really have to balance with a lot of different variables. What's your expected turnout? 
what are the expenses, how's the volunteerism, because although we do pay a fee for people who work as judges or clerks the election day, uh, there's a drop off just because you have a huge interest at the very beginning and then as you whittle down candidates, those parties and those campaigns kind of go away or take a break and the interest just gets smaller. And then we constantly have a battle here in Hidalgo County, as you know, of, uh, of voter participation. You know, our high water mark is 30 percent in the 2008 elections and um, in, in, at least in this modern era. And, and that's just not good enough. And so we're constantly trying to have uh, processes, people, polls, everything in place to create those numbers. Any final thoughts you want to leave our voters why they should vote for you as chairman? I've given uh, as much as I can in terms of passion and work for this volunteer job. I'm very proud of the things that we've accomplished in terms of growing our membership, raising money. We've raised more money than locally to use in local elections in Hidalgo County than we have in, in 10 years. We uh, are the number one early voting county in the state of Texas. We moved up a point, you know, the state follows and politicians in, in Washington and Austin look at this. Uh, you know, they're, they're strange beasts. They go for votes or money, not necessarily in that order. And we've moved up from the seventh uh, largest voting county to the sixth. In fact, we surpassed El Paso for the first time. So what we're doing with the party is working. Uh, and but we could always use more we could always use more people and so it's so important for people to go vote I hope when they do go vote they'll recognize those accomplishments that we've had together as Democrats but and support me but if you don't go vote anyway because it's that important thank you that's Rick Godinez he's in the runoff to be Hidalgo County Democratic Chairman thanks for joining us thank you